morning, my lovely secretary. Good morning. Have you found your main painting yet? Uh, not really. Well, Bob sent over some catalogs. Maybe you should take a look. There's and a lot of I would look at them if there was actually something worth looking at. This is a big show, Ruthie. <laughs> I want everything to be perfect. And I've seen that one special painting with emotion and sincerity. Not something paying for profit. And where do you expect to find something like that? If I knew that, then Bob wouldn't be breathing down my neck every three hours, now would he? Good morning, thank you for calling Philip Hayes' office. How can I help you? Now, oh, hello, Mr. Johnson. No, 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 no. He's actually in a meeting right now and, um, <laughs> no, sir, I'm not covering for him. Hello? Okay, he said he's coming over in 30 minutes. Nope. Gotta go. And where do you think you're going? Hey, tell him I'm gonna go find my painting. Nice painting. Seems like each stroke has intention. Actually, I feel like you've mastered this painting. You mind? Did you ever get bored painting the same scene over and over again, though? Well, I made a promise. I promised someone I would spend a thousand sunrises with her. So how many paintings have you done, then? <laughs> to be quite honest, I've lost count. That's why I come out here every day, to make sure I keep my promise to her. So you, like, send her a painting every day? <laughs> No, she, she's passed away. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. She couldn't see the sunrise from St. Mary's, so I came out and painted one for her every day. Oh, we covered the walls of her room with it. She painted the very first one. It's the only one that was ever dated. Well, why don't you just check the date on it and see if you fulfilled your promise? That painting's long gone. And uh, I think it's more important for me to come out here and make sure I keep my promise to her than, than it is to try to find it now. You mind if I have a copy? No. Go on. Thank you. I gotta run. Uh, my name is Philip, by the way. <laughs> my name's Al. Nice to meet you, Al. Have a good one. You too. I'm at the hospital. Looking for the painting. What do you mean he doesn't believe me? Well, I'm on a hunch here, Ruthie, so just make up something for me. Okay, bye. Excuse me, Tom. Do you work here at the hospital? Hospital doesn't clean itself, you know. Okay. Do you recognize this painting? Yeah, a few years ago, there was a room full of these. I remember having to take them down when the patient moved. Do you remember the very first one, though? Of course. It was the best one. It was so beautiful, I didn't take it down. So it's still there? It hasn't been there in a long time. The patient moved in, she moved out, the painting was gone. Do you remember the patient by any chance? No. But her father is a big hospital donor. In fact, they donated a wing under him. The John Brooker East Wing. The art collector? Okay. Thank you. Hi, sir. Would you happen to be John Brooker? Yes, I am. Who are you? My name is Philip Hayes. I'm an art curator. I, 
wanted to talk to you about a particular painting. Um, come in. Thank you. Do you mind if I take a look at that again? Sure. What did you want to know? Well, I'm looking for the original painting. Um, I traced it from St. Mary's to you, and I'm hoping you know where it is now. Why are you looking for it? I've never seen an art curator this determined in finding a specific painting. This painting has a very special story behind it. And if it has as much emotion and beauty as I hear it does, I'm willing to go as far as I possibly can to find it. I think you may be one of the very few curators who understands the true value of art, Mr. Hayes. My daughter saw art the same way. When she laid eyes on that sunrise, she felt the emotion and sincerity of it as well. I have been safe keeping this painting, waiting to find someone who will be able to properly share it with the world. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Ruthie, tell Bob I got the final piece. Okay. I told you you'd want to come. And did you see? Today's date marks the 1,000th painting. You fulfilled your promise. Where are you going, Al? Uh, you're not gonna stay? Excuse me, now that painting goes over here. One thousand sunrises and a sunset together. <laughs> <laughs>